sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, go. Good. Yeah, you got him. Pretty big fish. Not bad. Happy Friday, welcome to Salt Fix. The easterly's been blowing pretty strong for like the whole week. The swell's been pumping, it's just been really hard to find a decent window. So it's Friday afternoon, it's dropped a little bit. Still not ideal. It's blowing pretty strong from the east, but it's bearable. We bailed out probably about a mile. Um, we thought we are going to try it because tomorrow the wind's blowing up even more and there's a big front coming through on Sunday So this weekend's pretty much a write-off. So this is probably our last chance to get out. So I'm out with Zeno He likes to pull a lot of faces and Lee and I don't know, we're just going for a fish We're not trying anything fancy today. I did have plans of trying some um, I was going to drift and jig some plastics But the wind's cranking and we'll be drifting at about six or seven knots. It's just too much so and I haven't got my sink with me to slow us down, so we're just going to fish like we normally do. See if we can get a couple on, get a start to the weekend. You! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Zane. <laughs> Alright, it's been a long time coming. We've been here for, I don't know. That's a big fish. Oh, not quite an hour yet. The sun's gone down. There's a lot of skiffy around the boat. I was just starting to think it wasn't going to happen, to be honest. Oh, I've hooked up. Feels like a half decent fish. Yeah, it looks feels pretty good. Yeah. It's decent. Snapper for sure. Yeah, I oh, reckon it's creepy. Head shakes. It's been a long time. Look at the sky. The sky was on fire just before. There's a big front coming through tomorrow. It's going to be really ugly. This is our last chance to get a quick session in. That's why I was going straight back to basics, get it done. Zane, I think I stole your fish. <laughs> Staying to get the next one. Yeah. It's quite often the case when you get one, there's generally more with it. I actually don't even have any rods rigged up at the moment. I just lost my last. Lost my last Abrolis bull whip to the bottom about two minutes ago. I think it's a decent fish. Yeah, it looks decent. <laughs> Get the net ready, Zane. No, he's still a bit off here. Yeah. Right, just make sure he's ready. Oh, oh that didn't feel great. I was in the spine, oh, so there, there he is. Zane, Zane you ready? Zane, net man. What do you want to film? No, he can do it. Oh, net. Oh, sure? net. Okay. Make sure you're ready. It's going to be a big dog. Don't drop the net. No, no, Zane. Just put the net in the water and I'll lift his head. Hang on, not yet. He's not ready. He's not ready, Zane. Don't go for him until I lift his head up. Yep. Not yet, not yet, not yet. And hang on, hang on. Hang on, not yet, not yet, Zane, not yet, I'm not happy yet. Okay, go. Good. Yeah, you got him. Good job, Zane. Woo! There he is. Yes. Oh, oh he's good. He's, he's pretty good. Pretty big fish. Not bad, holding up Dad's fish because he stole your stole yeah. your rod. So, <laughs> yeah. oh, nice and heavy. heavy. He's gonna be dinner for tomorrow night. There you go. That's what we came out here for. Beautiful little fish. Zane said, "What do you measure? Just seventy-eight." Yes. I don't think he goes seventy-eight. So no, he was seventy-eight. Yeah, you're right. Yep, seventy-eight. 78. Beautiful. Oh, he's dinner. We'll slave him up and um. I think we'll do a catch and cook tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, you're not home tomorrow. I'm home. Right oh, oh, we, he's slaving anyway. He's already lost his colour. It's too late for him. Wicked.
<clears throat> so I'm just giving the old boat a bit of a wash down. Um, I left it out last night hoping it was going to rain. To be quite honest, I was a bit lazy last night. I wasn't really in the mood for filming an episode. Um, as you probably see, I was a bit half assed so I was just about having a Friday afternoon and enjoying the afternoon out with my boys. So I left the boat out last night hoping it would rain and give it a good clean out, but it didn't. Um, woken up this morning, it's actually quite sunny. Um, as you can see, I don't know, you can see by the trees here. Um, as soon as I woke up this morning, I could hear the wind was howling, so I knew it was not going to be happening today. But it's a cranking easily, so the beach is probably still going to be nice. So what I'm going to do is finish washing out the boat. And uh, I'll have a think about what I'm going to do. I've got some nice fillets I'll cook up for lunch, so I might go somewhere and cook these up for lunch. What I think I might do is I've got those nice fillets. Now I've packed the boat and everything else up. I might stick the gas mate. I've got my little gas mate stove here in the, um, in the backpack. I'm going to stick the gas mate in the back of the quad bike and I might burn down to the beach and cook up some fillets and um, see what the beach looks like. Maybe take a little flick rod and cast a few silvies around and uh, just go for a burn more than anything since I can't take the boat out. If I stay around here I'm only going to end up doing jobs around the house. So this is a good way of avoiding them. good as this the easterly is absolutely pumping um, but I found myself a nice little sheltered little cove here behind the rocks perfect view out over the beach I've got the gas mate going just getting the plate warmed up and here I've got a nice fillet of snapper that I caught last night fresh snapper and I'm gonna drop it into here all this is basically is flour with a bit of salt and a bit of pepper chucked in I'm just going to put the snapper in there, shake it about a bit, and then hopefully by then the plate will be hot and I'll whack it on. Okay, so I've got my beautiful fillet, beautiful fillet snapper. Um, as always, I bleed the fish, put it straight on ice as soon as the fish is bled. This has been in the fridge overnight, so that's going to go into my flour mix in there. Give it a shake around, make sure it's all nice and coated, nice and covered in flour and a bit of salt and pepper, a bit of seasoning. Beautiful. There he is and straight on the plate with him. Um, keep your rubbish guys, don't throw your rubbish in the bloody rocks or on the beach. Take your rubbish home with you. So I'm going to try this, I don't know if it worked or not. What I did when I was at home, I buttered a bread roll and then I put an extra big cup of butter. Oh yeah, there it is, beautiful. Put an extra big cup of butter inside my bread roll so I can just flip that off and onto the pan with that. So my roll's still buttered and I've got a big extra cob to go on there with my fish. Too good. So those years. Those of you that follow me on Instagram would know that I do this quite often myself and my boys. We quite often ride down the beach on the quads and cook up bacon and egg and whatever for breakfast. Um, I don't know why, I just never seem to film it. Again, it's just one of those things, I go at my boys, it's more about having fun than filming. I'm not about filming every single aspect of my day. But I thought you might like to see this bit of a catch and cook and just give a bit of an insight into what we get up to when the wind's too blowy and we can't get out fishing. Um, how good is Australia, eh? You can get a beautiful piece of beach like this all to yourself. Um, it only just dawned on me a minute ago, I actually forgot to bring a fishing rod with me. I had actually thought about bringing a fishing rod, 
and having a few casts. I'm gonna actually make an effort. Um, Jack, Jack though I fish with really regularly, he's he's a um, bit of a guru beach fisherman, so we're gonna make a bit of an effort in the near future to come down and do a bit of beach fishing. Um, I might even get involved with a bit of drone fishing. I've got a couple of blokes I might hit up and see if we can do some drone fishing and um, see if we can put a bit of that on the channel to mix things up a bit. But in the meantime, I'm gonna cook my fish and just enjoy the season scenery. <laughs> This smells so good. Have a look at this. You know your fish is done when you can just stick the spatula through it and it just falls apart like that. Look at it all perfectly white inside. Beautiful. So I'm going to turn the pan off now. Get out my beautiful. This thing weighs about half a ton. It's like a multi-grain sourdough roll. So I'll get out my sourdough roll. Piece of snapper. You. And there you go, snapper burger. If I was a bit more organised, I would have brought some lettuce and maybe some tomato and some sauce as well. But you know what? Just that on its own is going to be awesome. In mean, a setting like this, it doesn't get much better. Enjoy. All right, that's it from us. Um, if you like our stuff, you know what to do. Um, hit the like button, subscribe, put any comments down below. Um, I'm gonna go for a bit of a, gonna go and explore around a bit more, maybe cruise up the coast a little bit more, see what I can find. If I find anything interesting, I'll bring you guys along for a ride as usual. But until then, I'll see you in the next video. Yo!